Has TG ever gone LARPing? Was it fun or was it cringe? Played in some of them. The last ones in 2016 and 2018 were quite good. Everyone had deeply fleshed out characters. The amount of combat was minimum and the emphasis was put on role playing, mystery and psychological moments. Each of the games was an excellent and deep experience. I also remember some LARPs from early 2000s. Visited a game based on Chronicles of Amber. The costumes, though it was normal for that time. We had to go 15 kilometers on foot to get to the place. The master of the game was a psycho lesbian in her early 30s who also played a character. Ew. Ew. <laughs> ew. Do not, like... It's a DM player character, but IRL. But IRL, this is how... <laughs> like, IRL. <laughs> like, you know, you know where this is going to go. So, game goes on and two characters have a formal duel, while most of the other princes and princesses of Amber surround them in a circle and watch the duel. Both guys fight ferociously for almost 10 minutes. Both are covered in bruises and minor lacerations, as they were using Durasteel swords and fight topless. What? Well, the bruises would be unbelievable. <laughs> oh, no. And a worn and used Durasteel sword edge eventually becomes saw-like. Then one of the girls suddenly steps in the circle and stabs one of the fighters in the back with a knife. The knife was a cheap and dull decorative one, but she forgot that while it couldn't cut, it could still pierce quite well. So the guy screams in pain with the knife sticking out of his shoulder bone. Jesus, what was she doing? And hits her with a sword in the face, acting purely on reaction, without knowing he stabbed him. Then the game master, who was absent at the moment, bursts in and starts to scream at the guy for hitting this girl, who at the time was her girlfriend. Mate, you don't stop people in the back then. No. She, she changed them like gloves, and most of them were 10 to 15 years younger than her. Then she draws her sword. What? what? <laughs> Jesus. She had two swords with her. One was an ordinary sword for LARPing, made from hard texalite. The second was a part of her costume, and it was a well-made sharpened sword for from good steel what? sharp enough to pierce a wooden shield with a single blow she draws the steel sword and points it to his throat and challenges him to an immediate real life duel for attacking her girlfriend the fact that oh Wait, what what is this is actually what is going with people I, 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 I never knew LARPing was so crazy yeah I don't know Glenn, LARPing's I, lit Glenn invited me to it but like, I was so, like no I don't want to go to England like the fact that the guy had a knife literally sticking from his back did nothing to stop her. He refused, of course. Then she started screaming that he has no honour and she will tell everyone in the LARP movement about his cardus, so nobody will ever respect him. I mean, she not get no, no respect? No, fuck her. At this time, other players had enough of it. We said that she was a psycho c- and she could fuck off. Then we disarmed. A couple of girls treated the knife wound and then most of the players left the game. Some people didn't stop playing and just drunk with their buddies in the forest. Guess the country. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Guess. From what, I, from what I've gathered from people telling me, like, they've the went to LARPs, um, it is just a drinking holiday. Pretty much. That's what, I, I've, that's what I've got from it. I have I never knew it could get that fucking <laughs> lit. <laughs> <laughs> well, stabbing someone in the back. Like, wait, wait. Oh, sweet. No, that girl's mental. She needs to get the fuck out. I played in LARP for a few years. It was both fun and cringe. The cringe was due to click high school bullshit that was going on from there, and that one of the organisers went ape shit at a player for posting a meme on the LARP's Discord. Oh, please. Oh, I can't even be dealing with that type of stuff. I've participated in or made LARPs indoors with my college tabletop club one to two times a year for the last four years of my life, and I can say that it's quite fun. You have people using band-aids for fake elf ears or dress like vampires and be edgy. These are your literature, world history, scene kids, with the majority being chicks. And they're mainly there to roleplay together and only interact with the rest of the LARP to PvP people, 1v5 and steal their shit. <laughs> then you have the sword fags, who train all year round in sword fighting in their backyards or the gymnasium if they can borrow it, and go to LARPs to wreck people and bring fear to anybody <laughs> around. Fear me, nerd! <laughs> Lightning bolt. <laughs> that's all I think. See, whenever I think of garb, oh, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt video. That's oh, see, that was comedy gold, though. <laughs> they barely, if at all, role play. Will bum rush you if they have a reason to, but will almost always accept a fair and square duel over anything else. Then you have the bastards who go to LARP to exploit and or break the rules of the game. 
in twain in order to completely wipe the game or make it as annoying for the other players as possible. If you're teaming up with them and you aren't their IRL friends, they will backstab you and steal your shit the moment you're alone. These guys are almost never in the peaceful hub of the LARP and are always in the thick of it stealing or killing what's in their path. Then you have the butt mad tactical guys who only come to LARPs when they can use nerf guns and who carry everything from lunches to Magic the Gathering decks and ammo boxes. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> Me. The only reason they're here is to shoot people with guns because they couldn't get an airsoft match going at the weekend. <laughs> Same thing, right? The rest are generally just normal people here to roleplay or do teamwork and who do LARPs the exact same way you do a tabletop roleplaying game. Party and heroics included. That reminds me, the way he's described that sounds like f***ing Mean Girls. I was just about to say that. that. that, It's like the scene in Mean Girls whenever they're they're taking around the lunchroom, the cafeteria. They're trying to explain like the high school dynamics or whatever, I can't remember. You You know what I'm on about. And over here are the greatest people you ever meet. The, the normal folks. Yeah. <laughs> the normies. The normies. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is Elemental Games. Elemental Games is the largest seller of tabletop role-playing related products in the UK, and they also sell to most other countries at a great price. With 15-25% to 25% off Games Workshop products, it's hard to say no. However, they sell a lot more than just Games Workshop products. They sell every popular war game you can think of, as well as board games, card games, and role-playing games. Thinking about picking up an airbrush and trying some new painting techniques? Or what about sprucing up your gaming table and getting some new terrain and battle maps? Then consider getting it with Elemental Games. But enough of that. Let's get back to the video. I've been to several LARPs and they can be fucking great. We mostly just beat the shit out of each other with high-density foam weapons. Word of advice, it's the fucking shields you need to look out for. Yeah, I'd believe that. For some reason, the organisers are much more lenient with allowing hard materials on shields, and then somehow get surprised when someone's teeth almost Ugh. gets knocked out thanks to getting it bashed into their face. The cringe usually comes to arguing about rules or whenever people find loopholes to get perks super quick. I remember one time where the organisers had a thing going on where you can place bounties on other players but couldn't collect them yourself. Oh, that sounds oh. pretty. No, that sounds like it all and badly. So me and my friends just would place bounties on the people behind us in line, also waiting to place bounties, while the rest, <laughs> while the rest run out and beat the shit out of them. I've also gone to several World of Darkness LARPs, and holy fuck, they are a shit show. I can't say that they're all like this, but basically everyone attending was a huge degenerate and it was basically just a mini orgy that took place over several <laughs> days. Oh, yeah. shit! You know, I, I, that's what I kind of imagine it becoming, though. Either being a massive drink fest or it's just going to be one massive fuck fest between nerds. Yeah, I, I think... And they're all, fun. like, spanking each other on the ass with their foam fucking You know what it swords. is? It's like, yes! It's because they're all getting all that dress up and shit, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, they're, fu- they're fucking like condoms and then people <laughs> yeah. going, lightning bolt! <laughs> yeah, and it's one of those ones, I think definitely when it comes to GARP, there's definitely a lot more femoids in it because if you look at like 40k, there's no girl who play 40k. Mm. I don't know. I've never met a girl who plays 40k or is actually somewhat interested in D and D. There's quite a few. There's I think there's a there's about what maybe 20 percent. Yeah. Um, LARP tends to be quite a lot as well. Yeah, there tend to from be what, quite. From what, a... I've, what, what I've gathered anyway, there does yeah. seem to be quite a few girls that go to yeah. it compared to most. I have two separate stories that are unrelated to each other, except for LARPing. One. There was a LARP dude that was taking it pretty fucking seriously. He was wearing a fucking padded gambeson and literal, actual plate armour over it. Not even cardboard plate or like tin foil or whatever. Actual fucking metal. It was fucking 75 degrees. Bro must have been cooking in that armour. I legitimately had mad respect for him because of it. Also, I almost ran him over with my car because he ran across the street, trying to draw, <laughs> trying to dodge comically large Nerf arrows. <laughs> I, I, you, have I ever told you guys about one of my mates that got hit by a car over a slice of cheese? So, we're sitting about, so we're me and my mates, and uh, mate 
website a packet of you know like that really shitty single single, like slices of cheese you know that american plastic cheese and of course my other mate wants a slice i'm like no i don't want your cheese (laughs) (laughs) but the other uh, everyone else is like everyone stop offering me your cheese but but everyone else is like yeah give me the cheese so i was like (laughs) like, nah i'm all right anyway he only had like two slices left and he goes to hand it to me but he doesn't and he like throws it so he does and then without even thinking my other mate just legs it across the road and oh, like he's, and he gets hit by a car in the leg doing like 20 mile an hour <laughs> so he was alright with that and then I've got another story about a slice of cheese and I'm only going to tell you this one now because I'm never going to be able to have the opportunity to at another time so uh, me and mates we were about 14 or so we were sitting drinking for this is pretty common in the UK people like you know underage drinking everyone, it's it's, everyone drinks cider it's like if you it's, didn't drink you you were, weird. you were really weird, and I was weird, so you know it was bad. But um, no, so I got my cider. That was all well and good. We got the cider. You know, we're all well happy. We have all got like two liter bottles of Frosty Jacks and like you know horrible two liter bottles. It's not nice stuff. No, it's not. Anyway, anyway, so uh, we end up getting stopped by the police, of course, because uh, we'd only got it and we were walking away, and the police just literally rolled up and was like, right, give us your drink. Give us your drink. <laughs> and it's like, right, okay, no sweat. So they end up searching one of my other mates, and in his pocket was a block, a block, <laughs> a block of cheese that they bought <laughs> because they just thought it was like really fun. It's like, yo, do you want to just buy a block of cheese? It'd be funny as fuck. So we bought a block of cheese, and then he's like, yo, do you want a wee bit? And he went to go pick it off. He's like, nah, nah, to hand it over. So my other mate just bit it. And just like took a big like you know like Waltz and Gromit t- style like <laughs> bite out of it, and then he's like, "All right, okay." So he just like wrapped it back up and put it in his pocket. But then the police come out and search us, and then they they pulled it, and the look of horror, the look of horror on this policeman's face when he just looked at us was like, "Why do you have a block of cheese?" Like with a bite. <laughs> I just got like that cheese. <laughs> oh my god! I, I the, the look of horror on his face was amazing. That was great. Um, no, but sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get back to the garden, will we? Two. It is ridiculously and unbelievably easy to squirt LARPs, reenactments, and SCA events. Society for creative anachronism. Like seventy percent of it is dressing up and then fucking in costume. Yeah, that sounds about right. Is is LARP like uh, is it LARP like a more like fantasy based far con? Because this is what's been starting to sound like to me. Yeah, this is really what it's starting to sound like. Is this like a fantasy D and D based far con? I heard that people who like go to LARPs like um anytime like they go they have like new hookups and stuff at LARP. Apparently, it's very common. Apparently, yeah. from what I've what I've gathered anyway, it's near impossible to get your whole like impossible not to get your whole. So, for all you guys out there he hasn't <laughs> for all you boyfriend free girl <laughs> <laughs> for all you girlfriend free boys, boys out there why don't you sign up to some LARPs whenever the Rona's gone and look like, like, you never know who knows what you'll meet <laughs> exactly, exactly so you show up dress well don't be a spurg and you can come in about seven or eight different girls and maybe two or three different boys <laughs> if you play your cards right <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> show up semi fit role play barbarian bard if you're musical Bring biogas tent and an ugly bro or two. Acquire one or two crazy bang maidens. <laughs> That's an interesting <laughs> term for them, bang maidens. <laughs> Become regular in the LARP community. Slowly add oriental rugs, pillows, incense, hookah, etc. This guy just wants a herb. Yeah. Ho- throw wild parties that attract more bang maidens. Stop using condoms and start sending out orbiter boys to fight while you hang back at the tent and bang. Impregnate multiple maidens and raise children in your bang LARP cult. Become IRL King Conan and die old and grey in a massive r- roving, roving bang tent. tent caravan that you roll with an iron, iron fist. fist. <laughs> I don't know what. I, I, that, that's starting to sound a bit like let's, uh, To me, it's. LARP is just one big fuck fest. Yeah, that's what it really is starting to sound like. Yeah. It sounds like, like if you go to LARP and you don't get your hole, you fucked up. Yeah, you if you can't up. get your hole at LARP, you can't get your hole anywhere. Yeah, if, you, if you're not getting the sex, oh, so he, 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 send Chris Chan and see what he can do. <laughs> <laughs> send, send in Chris, and if Chris can get his hole, who knows what the possibilities are. <laughs> I never got into LARP due to being a poor fag, but I had a friend who was massively Indian and shared some great stories. Be Brit Bong. 
LARP Grip was mucking about in the woods. What's that noise? Armed police suddenly burst out of the bushes like fucking raptors. Drop your weapons and get down in the ground! <laughs> police dogs barking and snarling. Turns out the organisers forgot to inform the local police they were running a LARP that day. Members of the public reported a bunch of lunatics <laughs> running around the woods, swinging swords and axes. My face when police called in the gun squad because they thought there was an armed cult running rampant in the woods. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that's that's one of the things that I think would really turn me off the idea of ever going to like a garb is the idea of someone like saw me. I think that would actually kill me inside. No, but you see, you don't need to worry about somebody seeing you. Yeah. Because I would tell every one of you went to LARP. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. But no, I wouldn't be from. And also, you have to go to England and fuck England. Like seriously, sorry England, it's okay, guys. But you know, fuck, fuck England. Yes. <laughs> Finally, emerge from the woods with Halbert Bros, looking for the rest of the team. Hear an orchestra of squeaking and clacking. Hilltops suddenly covered in bikes. Yell at your friends to form goddamn ranks as a fat guy on an old swing. An old bike. Goes down the line. The sight and see. The sight and see. Off and on. Off and on. Someone blows a horn. The air is filled with cheating and pedal noises and the war cries as the neckbeard <laughs> Calvary picks, picks up, up with speed. speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that idea. That's like, so oh, funny. He's, he's got the money for a horse. Whenever, like, you know, just play a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just dress your bicycle up as a horse and call it a day. <laughs> so, yeah, from what I've gathered from this thread, that LARP is pretty much, it's about 40% beating people with swords. And about 40% fucking. And then the last 20% about drinking. Yeah. That's pretty much what it sounds like to me, to be honest with you. Um, if you guys are interested, we do have a video about LARP. It's a very long story. It's a big multi-parter. We haven't yeah. actually finished it yet. But all the arc, there's, there's three arcs to the story. And we've completed two of the, two arcs, of the arcs. And they're all and like self-contained stories. Yeah. So you can still... You don't need to worry about the third one. The third one. Until we start it again, yeah, which we, we will, we will be doing in soon. Not so, we're, I want to do it after we finish um, the Fresh Prince of Forty K, yeah, and then Fresh Prince of Forty K will be coming out very soon. So don't worry about mm -hmm. that because I'm more forever saying boys in the comments like, "Where's the Fresh Prince? Give me a fuck, give me a fuck, <laughs> Fresh Prince." It's coming, guys. Okay, don't worry. But look, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have your, if any of you have been to LARP, by the way, yeah, if you have know. your own like cringy stories, put them down below. Yeah, if you if we get enough I good like ones, to hear them. If we get enough good ones, we'll make a video about yeah. it. You know. But like, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's something a wee bit different from what you used to. But like, I thought, you know, why not? It's fun thread and there's some good stories. So hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys later. Bye.